Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, Saul. How are you? Activate your microphone. It's off. It's off. It's off. Hello, Carla. Hello, Renee. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. I'm good, teacher. How are you? Good, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Hi, Juan Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, Marco. Hi, Marco. How are you? I'm fine. You? How are you doing? Good, Marco. Very good. Something tired, but we're still here. Are you okay? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. That's great. Okay. Listen, and guys, uh, we're going to be checking to the our platform. Um, just let me open that line. We're going to be checking. Well, in our previous class, we're talking about infinitives in gerunds, right? Do you remember that? Hope so. Yeah, sure. Of course. Yes, right. Well, how was your holidays? How was your holiday, by the way? Uh... Good teacher. Good. Did you rest? Did you went? Did you go to the beach? Yes. No. Yes, I went to the beach. Okay. Good. Awesome. Okay. Um. Well, we're gonna wait for that. Um. And to this lesson, we're gonna be checking our topic, which is. Oh, let me see. We have a text. Hi, teacher Carla. Oh, Carla. Carla, good evening. Okay, we're gonna be checking the platform, but just well, it's charging. I don't know if you have if you face any difficulty with this. No sienten any problemas uh, con la plataforma? No. Yes. No. Maybe. <laughs> okay. So just let me open that. But. Basically, there is a topic that I want to discuss with you, which is about um, okay, relative classes. We're gonna be checking that in a moment. Let me see. Okay. We're going to start with a conversation, guys. Hold on. It's taking a while. Okay. Good. So here we have it. Look at this. Um, we're going to be checking this conversation in our grammar goal for today's lesson or for this objective. It's the following. And this session, you'll practice a conversation about using a cell phone, say imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions in context. Okay. Um, this is point two point six. Okay. Can I borrow your cell phone? And remember that after you watch every video, there are some spaces in here in which you can write. Right? Okay. Can you see the video? Hi again. Listen. Can you see the video and can you listen to this? Yes. No. Okay, perfect. Yes. Good, so let's start. To the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. Because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is John. 
Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Right Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who wants the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, so just let me open the book so we can um, check that. So while we wait for that, we're gonna be um, listening to that again, okay? Hi again, listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can't hear anything. Because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voice, ma'am. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who wants the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, so listen again. So we're listening to that again. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. See the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voice, ma'am. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who wants the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, well, um, I couldn't find the... Oh, good. It's ringing. That conversation, but I don't know if you can see that. Is it blur? Can you see that, guys? Or is it too blur? So, muy, muy, I guess in the side. Right, can't find it. Oh, why? It's a little, little, little teeny. It's small. Oh, little, little one, little one, small one. But you cannot read that, right? So, just let me check. Maybe it's her, your reputation. Hmm. Sadly, I couldn't find it, but let's see, based on what we hear, we're going to listen, we're going to pay close attention to that again, and I need you to um try to take some notes, okay? So now you listen and take notes, and later maybe we can get some, uh, quite some answers for the questions, okay? So please pay attention once more try to take some notes, and then we check uh, the questions and the answers. Listen to the audio program. 
please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe. Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who wants the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who owns the phone? Who are they? Okay, question one. Who owns the phone? Any idea, guys? Who owns the phone? You get it? Let's see. Well, maybe if I send you the link, you can uh, check that on your own, okay? So I think you, you cannot see the video you mentioned. Well, if you can open the platform, you can look for point two, uh, point six conversation. Can I borrow your phone? And then you try to watch that. Okay. Maybe if I play that once more, but I'm going to write the questions. Okay. Calling. What's the. They calling. What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? If you're not sure about the answers, you may listen to the audio pro program as many times as you need to. Good luck. Okay, so now that we got the questions, listen again and try to get the answers for these questions. Okay, so I'm going to place the questions over here. So who owns the phone? Who are they calling? What's the first thing to do? What should the woman press? Okay, so let's start again. Hi again. Listen to the audio program. Please pay attention because at the end of the conversation, I will ask you some questions. Get ready. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can't hear anything. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. Probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Ready? Who wants the phone? Okay, perfect. So I think that you did a lot of listening. 
right now. Oh, let's question one. Guys, what do you think? Who owns the phone? So we have a conversation between, uh, well, this is Jenny, right? And Richard, who owns the phone? What is the situation? So type your answer through the chat. Who owns the phone? A quien le pertenece el teléfono? Who owns the phone? Jenny or Richard? Text your answer, text your answer. Write it, write it down through the chat, meeting chat. Let's see, Carlos, Claudia, Esmeralda, Fernando, Isabel, what do you think? Who owns the phone? Richard, okay, we got one, Richard, Richard, okay, Richard, of course. Okay, nice, we got the first answer. Okay, one is Richard. Excellent, guys. So you were less, you you were paying attention, indeed. Okay, excellent. Who are they calling? Who are they calling? Antias. Question two. Who are they calling? Oh, that's question two. Question two. Who are they calling? Who are they calling, guys? What do you think? Do you want to listen to that again? Who are they calling? Are they calling? Mm -hmm. Who are they calling? Okay, so let's try to listen again to that part. So maybe you get it. Be sure to hit the end button. This time. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you. Okay, who are they calling? Again, they want to listen to this again. Let's see. Okay. Play it again. Listen, listen up. Pay attention to this. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Okay, there you have it. Which is the answer? Listen and practice. Okay, listen again a second time. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Okay, so now it's it, right? It's, okay, Jenny's boss, okay, awesome. So that's Jenny's boss. boss. Okay, excellent. Okay, next question. What's the first thing to do? What's the first thing to do? Let's see. I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it off. And, and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, so what is the first activity? Listen to uh, Jenny's question. Listen to Jenny's question and listen to Richard's answer now, okay? Uh, I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. Okay, so what does she have to do? First, type your answers through the meeting chat. Type your answers. Rene, Ruth, uh, Raul, Marco, Carla, type your answers. So what's the first thing to do? What do you think? Come on, guys, you can do it, you can do it, come on. You wanna listen to that again? Okay, perfect, got it. Irma, good. Okay, so I'm gonna play this again for the rest, okay? At the normal speed, normal speed, okay? Remember, you can um increase or accelerate the video. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it off. Okay, be sure. Let's see? Yeah, indeed, uh, Irma is right. Be sure to turn it on, okay? 
be sure to turn, turn it on. Okay, let's see. Four, what should the woman press? I'm gonna play the video again. And don't forget to dial the area code. Because you haven't pressed the call button. Okay. What she should uh, press? Listen again. Once more. But I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. Okay. So what was that? So what should the woman press? What? Should the woman press? Is it difficult, guys? How how is the listening? Difficult or easy? Tell me. Oh, está está fácil, está difícil. What do you think? So think about the answer. What should the woman press again? Maybe if I place the uh, play this at a lower speed okay there you go and don't forget to dial the area okay see the number but i can't hear anything that's i haven't pressed the call button. okay he mentioned something listen again I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Okay. She hasn't pressed what? She hasn't pressed what, guys? So, oh, okay. Marco, good. So, the call button. Okay, the call button. Indeed, yes, you're right. The call button. Okay, that's great. Um. Remember, you uh, copy first the questions and then you answer, right? Uh-huh, the call button, call button. Okay, yes, you're right. Um, Yes, indeed, when you're uh, practicing, you're listening, you have to listen as many times as possible, right? Um, Maybe uh, you can... Uh, reduce uh, the speed, right? So it could help you a lot. Okay, uh, press the call, call bottom, call bottom. That's what uh, she had to press. Okay, good. So now we continue with our second part and in today's lesson, we're gonna be checking something else. So just give me a couple of seconds, okay? Look at this. So for um okay, I don't. So I'm having some troubles with my internet connection, but it's about to finish. Okay, it's not working. All done. Maybe okay here. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay, so there we go. There we go. There we go. My goodness. Okay, hold on, guys. We're having some technical issues. You hear me, guys? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So that's good. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. The thing is that I'm having like some problems with the, I don't know, <laughs> it's stuck. It's the trawal. <laughs> okay, but it happens, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna solve that in a moment. So hopefully, hopefully. Okay, Zoom is causing me troubles. Okay, but. Okay. Well, in today's lesson, I want to share this with you. Uh, this is uh, not in the platform, but well, you're gonna watch a video indeed about this topic, okay? Um, we have checked imperatives and infinitive for given suggestions. Our next topic is relative classes. And we're gonna be checking how to make these relative classes. Uh, we have defining and non-defining relative classes. Can you see that? Can you see that PDF? Yes, I can. Okay, good. That's good. Thanks. Good. So this is our first uh, slide about the topic. Hey, look at this, a relative class definition. What is that? Um, it's the part of the sentence beginning with a relative pronoun. Uh, these, uh, as we know, these are called double H questions, right? But you can also use them as a relative pronouns, as pronouns, okay? So they have another usage, let's say, who, which, that, whom, whose or never when in word. In certain cases, the, this pronoun can be omitted. For example, look at the following example, okay? My brother, who is 34, is a teacher. Mi hermano, quien tiene 34 años, es profesor. So this is not um, a question, right? So this is our pronoun. Hermano, quien tiene 34 años, es profesor. Okay, so where is the relative class in this sentence? So we're gonna check that, okay? Look at this. Okay, so let's wait for that. Okay. So any idea, where is the relative class in this sentence? So if we mention that the relative class is part of a sentence beginning with a relative pronoun, which is the relative, where is the relative class? Look at this, so pay close attention to this. It's the part of a sentence beginning with a relative pronoun, who, which, that, whom, or whose, or an adverb, when a word. My brother who is 34 is a teacher, right? So a relative class is? Uh -huh. Who is 34? Yes, who is 34. Mm -hmm. So that is a relative class. Okay, so now that we understood that, so we continue with a second, okay second part we have two types of uh, relative classes look at this um do you notice any differences in the meaning the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive is there any difference in the meaning for you hay alguna diferencia what do you think? Mm -hmm. The boys in my what class. Like oh, okay, we have two commas. Yes, indeed, we have two commas. Mm -hmm. Excellent, good point. The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. Okay, so now we're going to check what is the difference okay look at this okay 
So here we have the um, difference between that. Uh, we have two types. Remember, we have two types of clauses. Defining clauses, significativos. The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. Los chicos en, en mi clase que usan lentes son atractivos. So these relative clauses give you the information you need to understand the sentence, the relative clause. So it gives you uh, information that you need in order to understand this, the boys in my class. Okay, but which boys? The ones that wear glasses. So what do we say about them? They are attractive, right? So this clause gives you information in order to understand the sentence. There are no commas for defining clauses, okay? No commas. If you take the relative clause away, the sentence doesn't make sense. For example, imagine this. Imagínense que yo quito esto, okay? ¿Qué pasa si quitamos la relative clause? Los chicos de mi clase. Does it make sense for you? Or do you need additional information? Guys? So it looks right like you need something else, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, indeed, right? Entonces necesitamos algo más. Necesitamos, we need information, right? To understand the, the idea or the meaning that someone wants to express, right? So the boys in my class, who wear glasses are attractive. Los chicos de mi clase, quienes usan lentes, son atractivos. Okay, good. Uh, and the last point in this kind of sentences, who or which can be replaced by that. Okay, for example, look at this. Um, the boys in my class, so you can replace this who by that. Mm -hmm. The boys in my class, the word glasses are attractive. So it basically means care, okay, right? Um, or it can also be which, okay? <clears throat> the boys in my class, which wear glasses are attractive. So what is the difference? Okay, which when you have some options, right? And that can be uh, replaced by what? And who can be replaced by that? Okay, so there is no any problem, right? So they can be, uh, you can in interchange that, right? So they are interchangeable, which, that, who. Okay, so these ones are called defining relative classes. For example, let's see, let's try to create one example. The students. In my classroom, okay, in my classroom. So try to complete that idea. The mm -hmm. students in my classroom, okay. Try to use a pronoun, which, okay, that, who. That we had a... Uh-huh. Our husband. <laughs> okay, the students in my classroom that that we're mm -hmm. the students in my classroom that Did you the 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 bird we're we're a I can use the verb wear to 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 pronounce that. No. We wear we wear a hat. We wear a teacher. We wear a a pair of pants. Okay. Or, Will you write your example or repeat your example? The students in my classroom. Okay, so let's uh -huh. a, a, a black a black t shirt. Okay.
Okay, so what do you think about them? Are handsome, you said, right? Uh huh. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay. So students in my classroom that wear black t-shirts are handsome. Okay, so let's try with another one. Okay. Okay, the company, okay, the company, try to complete that. Okay, the company that So what what could you add? The company that the company the, the, company, the, the use big machines is is a cute. Okay, look at this. The company that I work for use. Okay. Used. Okay, let's say huge machines. Huge machines. Okay, how about the book? The book. Okay. The book which I read was interesting. For example, the book which I read was interesting. Look at this. Which are your relative classes? The ones um, holding the pronoun. Okay, the students in my classroom, they wear black t-shirts, they're handsome. The company that I work for use huge machines. The book which I read was interesting. So something that you have to keep in mind is this, okay? Which are the pronouns, okay? Who, which, that, whom, whose. Okay, so let's uh, write it over here. For example, let me see, okay, who, which. Remember that you need to use these pronouns, okay? That, whom, and whose. Let's see. So we continue with some more examples. Do you copy these examples? Do you copy these examples, guys? Yes. Okay, proof. So now I'll continue with a second slide. Okay, remember the pronouns are who, which, that. Okay. Let's see, uh, slide number four. Okay. Oh, 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 oops, not yet, okay, not yet. So a second type of classes are relative classes, non-defining classes, non-defining classes, explicativas. Okay, the boys, in the same example, the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. Uh, number point one, these relative classes give extra information, okay? Extra information. So that's why you place comma. So this is called a positive, right? When you want to give uh, extra or additional information, right? They are always written between commas, so non-defining. If you leave out the relative class between commas, it still makes sense, okay? In, and this kind of sentences, who and which, can be replaced by that. Okay, so let's try with some more examples. The book, okay, the book, which I read, the book which I read, what do you think, the book which I read? Was so could you give me ideas? Was so romantic. But... So romantic. So romantic or too romantic for you? So romantic. So romantic. So romantic. Okay. 
Let's see another example. Let's say dumb. Okay, that, oh no, no, maybe not this one. Okay. The apple, okay, the apple, comma, which I ate. What do you think? Was too cold. Mm -hmm. Was? Too cold. Too? Too cold. Cold? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. The apple which I ate was too cold. Remember, in this case, you place the relative um, clause, the non-defining relative clause between commas, but you have to place the verb after that comma. The book was so romantic. So in this case, if you leave out the, um, look at this, this is point number three. Check that one, ben el punto tres. If you leave out the relative clause between commas, it still makes sense. Why? Because we have a verb. Entonces, digamos, omito ahí mi relative class, mi non-defining relative class. ¿Qué pasa ahí? The book was so romantic. Does it make sense for you or not? Imagine that this doesn't exist. Imaginen que aquí lo quité. ¿Tiene sentido? Does it make sense for you? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, right? So it means that you can leave out the relative clause and the sentence still makes sense. But remember that you use this relative, uh, this non-defining in order to give extra information, right? So that's not a problem. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm going to move this. Hmm, okay. So now let's see, we will continue checking some more examples. And uh, well, we have this information uh, in these kinds of sentences, who and which can be replaced by that. Okay, so it means you cannot use uh, that in order to uh, replace as uh, in uh, defining relative classes, right? For example, uh, another example. The kids. in the garden, okay? So what do you think about the kids? So can you give me some more ideas about it? The kids in the garden, who, for example, are happy, Oma, complete that thought, complete that idea. The kids in the garden who are happy, Playing. Are? Are playing soccer. Playing. Okay, are playing soccer. Good. So imagine doing this. So can I do this? No, you cannot do it. Okay. So in this case, when you are using a non defining relative, you cannot uh, omit that. So ahí no podemos. Unless a non defining, no se puede. Okay. So you just uh, use uh, who or which, right? So los niños en el jardín, quienes están felices, están jugando soccer. And remember that if you omit this, um, this uh, non defining, so the sentence still makes sense. Okay. So that's not a problem. The kids in the garden, the kids in the garden, are playing soccer, okay? So it makes sense. So we have proved that um, even if you don't have the non-defining clause, it, it's not a problem. Entonces, no importa si no lo agregamos, aún tiene sentido porque acaba nuestro verbo principal, okay? Lo que está ahí es nada más información adicional, okay? So you give extra information, okay? Extra information here, good. Any questions so far?
So let me know if you have a question, please. Okay, so this is, is the FB um, is, mm -hmm. sorry. Is the FB is in the platform. The PDF. I'm gonna send you. No, it's not there. I'm gonna send it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now how we use these um, relative pronouns. So we first, we need to understand what, well, this is basic, right? So we need to know and we need to understand what is the meaning for each of these uh, pronouns, right? Remember, as you studied in uh, basic, let's say, one or two, um, these um, are double H questions and they are used in order to talk about something in specific, right? Who is for? So could you read this information, please? Who? Let's start with who, okay? Okay. Who? For people. Mm -hmm. uh, read the example. Yeah. She is the person who helped me. Okay, guys, I have a question. Is this a defining clause or a non-defining clause? What do you Fine. think? Uh-huh. Let's say defining, right? Yeah. Defining Fine. clause. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Second example, Saul. Which for, for things and objects. Example? This, this is the book which I bought last week. Okay, good. Mm, defining or non-defining? This is... The same case, right? Defining yeah, class. The, same. Mm -hmm, the same. How about where? This. Where is where? Mm -hmm. For places, right? For example, Madrid is the city where I have lived for 39 years. Okay, so uh, well, basically what I want to show you is that we, first we need to understand the meaning for these uh, pronouns. Okay, remember this double H word as pronouns. So we need to understand what is the meaning, okay? What is the meaning in order to use them properly? She is the person who helped me, right? He and me, right? I'm a person, right? She's the person who helped me. She is, uh, let's say, he is the guy, let's say, that, uh-huh, an idea, okay? Hire me, okay. Is the guy that hired me? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Okay, Saul. Let's say Saul. Okay, this um the supervisor, which helped me. Okay, so the supervisor, which help me right why which because there were many supervisors let's say that were um uh, we're considering the saul is between uh, let's say some possible some options that we have there are some more supervisors okay but saul is the one right okay let's see um now we'll continue with uh, another one and let me see Okay, seven, this is seven, this is, oh no, that's eight, seven. Look at this. Could you continue with these, please? Uh, Irma, Irma, please. That. That, for people, things in defining how. This is the boy, that, this is the car, that. Okay, so let's see, try to complete one sentence, guys, using these, uh, that. Okay, remember for defining clauses, you use that. Okay, you can use that. Mm, let's see, let's complete this. Pete is the boy that. So can play. That, okay, that plays. 
soccer, for example. Pete is the boy that helps me, okay? Pete is a boy that that lent me, uh, okay, that lent me how money, how, many, how much money? Okay, one dollar, <laughs> one dollar. Uh, Pete is the boy that wrote a poem, okay? Well, let's see, continue with the example, Irma. Pete is the boy that that uh, helps me with the homework. Okay, Pete. Okay, so I'm going to look for Pete. Let's see, Claudia. Claudia, try to create your own example. Pete, with Pete. Activate your microphones. Let's see. Um, let's see. How about you, Marco? Marco, so could you help us? Yeah. Yes. Pete is a boy that plays soccer. Plays like soccer. Okay. Okay. Good. The idea, right? So remember that these classes help us to give more information, right? So Pete is a boy that uh, helps me with my homework, that lends uh, me money, that uh, writes, that reports for the company, that supervises the customer or the quality of the products, the Peter. So Pete. Okay, so this is the card that, for example, that she... What, for example, this is the car that we rented. This is the car that they sell. Ah, I sell. Okay. I sell. that they sell. Okay, this is the car that ideas. So think about some. This is the car that so Claudia Fernando. I paint. No, oh, okay, I'm painting. I'm painting. Yeah. Okay. Good. This is the car that you fix it. Okay. That you fix it. The you fix. fix the it. you fix. The you fix. fix. Okay. Pass. Okay. Right. Pass. Pass. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. You fixed. Okay. Fixed. Fixed. Fix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Excellent. So let's see, let, let's continue with the next one. This is when, uh, and you're gonna use when for time, right? I met him the day when, okay, maybe this is, I met him the day when it was my birthday. Okay, lo conocí el día, cuando, okay, well, maybe not in Spanish, we don't say that like that way, right? But uh, we're talking about time, right? So I met him the day, I don't know if you have any translation, uh, but uh, I don't right now. Um, I met him when, the day when, okay, I met him the day when I, uh -huh. I, I used to go to the party. Okay, okay. I met him when I, um, okay, when I went to the party, okay. I met him, when I, uh huh, when I walk. Okay, okay. When I was walking. When I walked, or when I was walking, yeah, because uh, remember, if you something interrupted something, I met him the day when I was uh, walking, okay, or when I walked, when I walked in the park, okay. Any other idea when do you met him? I met him the day when. When she, okay, when he. Pop, okay, pop up. Uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, okay, 
when he pop up at the, okay, at the entrance of uh, my apartment, for example. So pop up means, uh, popped up means somebody said, right? So I met him the day when he popped up at the entrance of my apartment. Let's see. Um, okay, so this is uh, for when, right? For time. So it happened when I went to the party, when I walked in the park, or when I was walking in the park, when I when he popped up at the entrance of my apartment. Okay, and we have who's. Uh, why do we use whose for the station, right? My pupils whose homework is never done will fail the exam. <laughs> so, um, but luckily you have uh, done your homework, right? You have done your homework. My pupils whose homework is never done. Okay, how do you translate this whose? Who are you? Okay, mis estudiantes, mis pupilos, cuya tarea, cuya no, trabajo y tarea nunca está hecha passive voice uh, van a, eh, a fallar no van a pasar el examen <laughs> okay. okay so this is just for explaining that right I'm not thinking about you in that way okay my pupils um whose okay give me some ideas my pupils whose okay coma we're going to create some non-defining. My pupils whose... Let's modify this. Um, my friends... Okay. My friends whose... Ideas. Ideas. Mm -hmm. My friends whose... So think about an idea. Is that difficult? Who can work every day? Okay, so could you repeat, Irma? I think you have problems with the microphone. I can, well, I barely listen to it. Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, could you repeat that? My... Uh -huh. Whose parents work every day? Okay. Mm, okay, in this case, uh, we need to place a possession, right? Whose homework? Homework is the possession for uh, the puppets, right? My friends, whose? Okay, let's say I'm going to create a crazy sentence. My friends, whose ideas are, okay, crazy, let's say. make me laugh, for example. Mis amigos, cuyas ideas son a little bit crazy, right? <laughs> make me laugh. Okay, my friends, make me laugh. Okay. Remember if you omit this part, so no problem. Okay, si se quita o se deja, no problem. So you just give extra information. Okay, uh, another idea, think about one example. My, my brother. brother who, oh, my brother who's big feet go at the gym every day. Whose? Whose feet? Feet. Feet. This yeah. feet? No. Feet, uh, the, está en, está, uh, how do you say? Bien, bien, este, fornido, ¿cómo se dice? Bien formado, bien formado en su cuerpo por ir al gimnasio. Mm. Fit, like, mm. like, fit, mm. uh, F -I -T, fit. Okay, so let's think about something else, fit. Uh, something else. Uh, maybe... Remember, in this case, whose means uh, cuyo, okay? Cuyo, okay? Cuyas ideas. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Uh -huh. so that's, uh, you, uh -huh. that's why you need to check who's, uh, let's say, not Jean, who's, 
routine. Okay, whose routine? Okay, maybe. My brother, whose routine is um let's say strict. Okay. Mi hermano, cuya rutina es estricta. What do you think? My brother, whose routine is strict. So now let's complete that. No falta todavía ahí para terminarla. My brother, whose routine is strict. Is discipline. <laughs> is? It's discipline. Oh, okay. How do you say discipline now? I don't know. You don't know? Discipline now. Yeah, it could be disciplined, well behaved. Okay. It's disciplined. Okay. Mi hermano es disciplinado, okay. cuya rutina es estricta. Mi hermano cuya rutina es estricta es disciplinado. Oh, it's so disciplined, okay. It's muy disciplinado, right? Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, I think we don't have like too much time, but let me see if I can show you the last uh, the last one subject. For okay, no, that's all. Okay, so I'm going to send you the um, PDF, but uh, please try to write one example for each of these um, pronouns, okay? So one for who, another one for which, another one for where, um, that, when, and whose, okay? So at least, uh, let's say, six examples. And then you send me that to my WhatsApp, okay? So... I have you do it, okay? So do it. And me envían ahí sus ejemplos. O seis ejemplos, seis ejemplos. Uno por cada una de estas, okay? So that's just for practice. Okay, but I don't know. Do you have any questions so far, guys? In questions? Okay, well, we're gonna pass the attendance list. Please uh, say present. And we continue tomorrow with uh, some practice, okay? So in today's lesson, we have been checking, well, a listening and uh, a grammar point. Let me see, I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Please uh, say present, okay? Say present, say present. So that's important because if you don't say present, I, uh, well, I cannot mark that, okay? Or at least uh, leave a message through the chat, okay, a text through the chat, if you cannot answer it. Let's see, um, Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present. Okay. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda. Okay. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Jacqueline Manzano. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Okay. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Juan Carlos Cubillas. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Y 
Okay, Irma, Claudia. Okay, Irma and Claudia. Got it, got it, ladies. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Thanks, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Thanks, Marco. Raul Antonio Perez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Okay, good. Rene Giovanni Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thanks, Rene. Ruth Maria Lozomaya. Here, teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Got it. Saul Alexander Lozano. Present, teacher. Thanks, Saul. Stephanie Jamilet Perez Romero. Stephanie Jamilet Perez Romero. Let's see. Stephanie, you here? Okay, no, not here. Okay, well, that's all for today, guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. Please uh, write your examples and send your examples to my WhatsApp, okay? Uh, any question, guys, by the way? Do you have any question? Please continue working on your exercises through the platform, okay? So that's really, really important, okay? Don't forget that, okay? And please don't miss any class, okay? Don't miss any class. Okay, well, that's all for today's a yeah. lesson. Uh, yes, yeah, Saul? I have something from the platform. I got a, I got a questions. I got a question about uh, one of those uh, exercises in the platform. Which one? I, that one, the, I think. Oh, give me the. I'm not, I, I'm not the, the only one, but I try to, 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 to solve it. Yeah, but but uh, many many I I put in uh, any. How do you say any? Yo. Bueno, yo cómo se llama? Es este la número esta la número. Mm, okay, so let me check. Um, the question is. That's number eight, right? So number three and, and in the fish. Yeah. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. Check it and give me the point, okay? If you have questions, uh, you can stay, okay? If not, you're free, you're free to go, okay? Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you give me mm -hmm. a, no a, problem. Little, a little bit? Okay, no problem. Time. It's a, it's a number three point six, and a number the number three. When is it? And we 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 was uh listen to uh, audio of the the guy talk about a carnaval in Brazil and, and we got a. It's a uh, three point. It's three point six. Three point six. Okay, so let me check that. It's a listening. Okay. It's a carnival time. Uh -huh. An audio about carnival. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Type full uh, type in full answers for questions number two. Type the number in letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, maybe, so what are your answers? Okay, um, let's see. Uh, my answer is... Uh, what is a if carnival? You may, if, you may, if you may help me with, with, with the question. Mm -hmm. What is a um, carnival? Uh -huh. In this one, uh, well, you can say it's a party or just party. 
So it can be. Um, yeah, yes, that's the number one. This is a uh, what is a carnival party? Uh -huh. How long does it last for four whole days? Uh -huh. And then the number three is when is it? Mm. He say mm. like. He say like. Is held in in late February or early March, something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But I I try to you try right, write right down. Right. Mm. I try to write down, but always hit me wrong. Mm, okay, so we're gonna check. Maybe I wanna check that now. And what yeah. is what is the sound? So it's a dance. Huh? Uh -huh. The yeah. question four, four. Uh, maybe uh, your doubt is about question three. Yeah, the number three. Question yeah, three. Yeah, number four. It's okay. It's a dance. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh -huh. it's a, it's a dance. dance. Yeah. A dance. Yeah. Okay, maybe in that way you can try with this one. Try with this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's cloudy. Okay. Yeah, maybe because it's the day and you have to be specific with the date. Let me see. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sending you that. Yeah, I think that's the problem. The problem is that you have to be specific. But there are some defined, well, there are some predefined answers, like it's on late February, early March, or early March. Okay, maybe you can try with that one or it is on late February or early March. Okay. So we got like three possible answers, okay? I don't know if you have one of these. Okay, look at that. Check the chat. Do you have that one, Saul? Any of that answers? Ahí, vean en el chat. Ahí hay okay. tres posibles respuestas. Uh, the thing is that maybe due to the audio, um, it says on late February. Mm -hmm. It is only February or early March or only February or early March. Um, uh, you have to check the spelling. Mm -hmm. Check it. Try with that one. Traten con el que está ahí en el chat. How do you say? It's, it's only February or early March. February. Uh huh. Check the chat. It's there. Check the chat. Ahí ven el chat. Ahí está. Maybe. Uh huh. Uh, now that you have the answers, try to listen to the audio once more, and maybe you get the, that answer. Okay. Because I haven't listened to that now. Let me see. I'm gonna play it. Maybe it gives us an answer. Okay. Let me see. It's not charging. Okay, no, no me lo está cargando. But try without one of them. Intente con una de esas. It's held. It's held. Yes. Está tratando de ponerlo, pero está un poco lento. Está un poco lento. Page 52. Okay. Exercise 5. Listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Music fantastic. It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. 
People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Okay, yeah, got it. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held... Okay, so there you have one. In late February or early March. Okay, there you have the answer. So, look, listen. Questions. Okay. It's on. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's okay. late February or early good. March. Thank you. But you need to... Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. there, 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 there you have the answer. So, uh, well, I suggest you to try to take some notes when you listen to the audios, right? Mm, well, while you're learning... It, it is going to help you. Mm -hmm. And then you try, right, with the answer, with the questions and the answers. And then you and then you listen that, like, well, sometimes, right, like two, three times. So as much as you need it, okay? As many times as you need that, uh, to listen to that. Hay que escucharlo tantas veces sea posible. Y uh, pueden ponerlo, ustedes pueden ir cambiando ahí el, el ritmo, lo pueden hacer un poquito más lento, pero este no sé, pero el video que vimos al principio de esta clase, sí, se podía, para que ustedes lo vayan escuchando despacio, y después lo ponen un normal rate, un normal speed, una, uh, ¿qué? Normal, ¿verdad? Nos dejan normal, pero es de estar escuchando, de tomar, tratar de tomar apuntes. Ok, but that's good, that's good, so you're good, doing a good job, ok? Thanks, guys. Thank uh, Claudia, you. thanks. Um, well, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, so, Thank any other questions? No? Good night. Good night, Raul. Good night, Good night Claudia. Mm -hmm. So, do you have uh, another question? No, to hear it. No, okay. No. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Raul. Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Thanks.